Well, good afternoon, everybody. I have sort of a product review um, for you today. It is something that I found at Dollar Tree, of all places. And I didn't buy but like two packages, one for myself, one for Lisa, because... Uh, I was afraid they would be bad. Um, I think most of you know I use a water brush all the time to cut napkins, to use with my ink tints. Um, this is my favorite one. I've had it uh, probably 20 years. I haven't a clue where I got it, but I'm guessing Stampin' Up! Uh, I have bought multiple different water brushes at the art supply store, which I don't really like. Um, they're a little big for my hand. They don't seem to be made the same way. I actually bought one that I took back because it leaked all over everywhere and I had paid $12 for the silly thing. So, to get two in a package at Dollar Tree, for a dollar means you get them for 50 cents a piece. I was like, okay, we need to check these out. And I really like it, actually. Uh, I have this, this is a coloring book page. This is just a coloring book that I'm pretty sure I got it at the uh, thrift store for like 50 cents because I don't usually buy coloring books. Um, I got it because I have enjoyed recently painting with the ink tints paint, paints on the coloring books. Um, this one's full of water and uh, the brush is actually stained already because I did use it to test it. Um, but I want to show you how it comes apart. And <laughs> this was one of those things that's kind of backwards to me. I wanted to untwist it this way and they untwist the other way. So when, when you go to twist it, if it doesn't untwist, twist it the other way. Um, these have the same sort of, um, this, it's round on this section. Let me move this. I just realized you can't really see what I'm talking about. It's, oh, let's bring it in. There you go. That will be better. It's round on this section which is like my sort of expensive one. It's got a sort of hexagonal, I haven't counted, um, but flat sided area, which is what this one has. And then it screws together. The cap is really good and snug on there. You have to really pull it off. Um, hmm, guess what? These may be two different sizes. Oh, uh, yeah, they may be two different sizes. That's interesting. Um, which would be nice. I will tell you that when I first got this one, there were some little brush tip hairs sticking out. I had to trim off with some scissors. Um, but for 50 cents doesn't hurt my feelings. Um, this cap fits on real well. They screw back together real well. You have to remember which way you screw it together. And it holds water real well. I, I haven't had any leak out of it, which is kind of amazing to me. I was very pleased with it. Um, especially for 50 cents. Uh, it holds a reasonable amount of water. It's thinner in my hand than some of the other brushes I've got, which I really do like. Um, I just thought I would do a little bit of a, a little bit of a painting here. Let's see what we can do. Now, one thing about it is, at 50 cents a piece, if you're not exactly happy with the tip, you can trim it. 
they are nylon tipped it's not um it's not a high end uh paintbrush it is a water brush It took a minute. I will tell you that when I first put water in it, it took a minute for the water to get down. I did have to squeeze the barrel a couple of times. After that, it seemed to be it seems to feed real well all by its little self. And it has a fine tip. You could cut it off and make it heavier. These were in the craft section. They are um, a crafter's square item, which means that the Dollar Tree will restock it most likely if they run out. Um, I don't know that the people at Dollar Tree knew what they were hanging on the wall because they didn't really have it with the paints. They were just hung on the wall at the craft section. Kind of stuck in between other things. Let's uh, let's give this some shading. But you see, it holds water real well. I'm very, very pleased. Um, let me find a... Now, like I said, the tip's going to be stained with these ink tense pencils, or ink tense blocks. They're, they're, um, they're permanent. My really good brush is stained so it's not something that that I'm going to worry about uh, the tr the color comes out of it and you end up with just clear water I'm sorry I, it was off camera I'm just cleaning the brush off um, I, I really don't have much else to say I just really wanted to come on and tell you guys to watch for these um, they come two in a package. Let's back you out a little bit. They come two in a package. They come from um, Crafter Square. They were in the craft section. And they are really nice water brushes. Um, it, it does mean that you can have a couple of extras around so that you can keep them full. Sometimes when I'm I'm doing something, I'd like to have these this full and and not have to take the time to stop and fill it up. Although you know you can paint a long time with the amount of water that's in one of these. So that's really all I had to say today. Let me find my little book. It's buried, of course, with all the other stuff that's buried. I'm going to read you a quote from our 1001 Ways to Creativity, and then I'm going to run on and, and do something else today. Who knows what? Garden is coming in, so I really need to take care of all of that. Imagination is the living power and prime agent of all human perception. Samuel Samuel Taylor Col Coleridge. I like that. Imagination is the living power and prime agent of all human perception. Okay, guys. Go have fun. Make some art. Bye-bye.